think everyone, um, go, okay, I should probably, I think, no, no, Christmas first, so I hope you had a Merry Christmas and all, and, um, you all saw my tweet, can do your stuff, but in case you didn't know, I got this, yeah, starting, this, I think, for the question, I will start it never. I brought this one out here just for that. I bet I can okay. But, anyway, I could probably the best way to cure the Pokemon with a little push up episode, depending on how good or bad it is. Um, but I could probably dress something first. I did not do VR last week. I you know it's because I got sick. You know, sick, not, I was well enough to function okay, but not, I couldn't do this without going to the whole time. And, you know, just like, by the end of the day, I felt okay enough, but that was too late. I want to have to refresh online in the very least. Um, so, there we go. Fresh on mind. This week, I'm totally fine. I'm a lot better than just a little bit. But, yeah, totally okay. And so, today, we have Unvetted, written by Nick Consolone. From time I either end, he was on Pony already. So, there you go. So, got our two plots in the plot. The titular plot, Joey going to the vet and finds that the pet of the vet is a, a, a dog who is complaining to be a doctor vet himself, and he's very handsome, and going to find love with him, so she starts getting her on purpose in order to see him and get her life to go. Meanwhile, Blythe and Roger uh, spend the night in the mountains, because she here in that more on got the idea for my magazine, I just spent a year in there, and she figured maybe I'll get inspiration by doing that. And that's what ended up happening there. So, which plot first? I'm gonna go start the uh, titular plot, because I want to end up on a positive note. Yeah, not, plot, it's got problems. It, it does have that We've seen, we've seen some goey love plots, like, before, and it comes from being kind of redundant, it kind of makes it a bit stupider. I mean, and, you know, like, the joke that he is an idiot and she can't see that because he's flying with love, but then that only goes so far, it gets to the point where it's like, yeah, and here's the thing, I think the problem is, that I, I go ahead and spoil a little bit, but, that really wait, and she gets to the point where she wants to drop her little pet shop thing and to be full time. Really, is that love of them that you just know? It's just weird. And the and the way she tried to drop out of this and you know not be with them, it kind of done. It doesn't end too well. It probably should, you know. But it was going we kind of did, but it's like and got making the whole thing feel. A little, I mean, I'm kind of. You know, it feels like you're putting it a little too far. It's like, there's only so much I can take certain, I mean, seriously, it's like, I mean, skip away with Rarity doing, well, I didn't even watch that again, but from what I recall, it's like, they're gonna bear you, and the better story made out of the fact she can't keep a guy, obviously. You know, wonky, and she doesn't go. I'm gonna quit all my stuff or whatever. It's like they don't to, to, to that extent. Going from likely the type to do that on Rarity, Rarity doesn't have a more important job than just being in the Um, so but you know, but at the same time, they do get some good comedy out of it, and we get our song out of it. Uh, can't give up, and it's between both black and one of both kind, and it's a pretty good song. Uh, not. It's no dude of a vampire, but it's pretty good. Um, so, yeah, but, um, but, and, yeah, that is a little rocky in some places. The B plot thing better. Um, like, of course, um, you know, by Farage hanging on the mountain. They get, again, they think basically, they show, get out prepared for our Now we're getting ready for them to do, because Roger was going to block, oh, we're going to do a quick block, and then we're like, we kind of did that now, kind of that, but they rehashed that before, but no, they just turned into a general sort of mountain adventure, which I think is a much better way to do that. And there ends up not being much of a moral or a point, but in the sense that 
what they but life feels like what she went through kind of playing fan like well we want a great adventure so it's like you know not too pointless and of course you gotta love the unintentional over here which will be joked about in the description um <laughs> so uh nothing actually making that be bought but it is fun and funny and again as long as they probably did give us that really cool song called Aggle the Capsule like senior day or roughly the weakest I've seen so far, like roughly on par. I think they both have points. This one kind of weaker in a sense, cause, uh, the strengths aren't quite strong, but I think that's probably the thing about senior day are something that kind of had to happen. Well, in here, I don't think they quite justify the weakness they add much. But, but they feel like they're stretching her well, we a bit too far, and and having a sort of a joke. Beaver for me can go fine, but when you're building some different way, I don't. This will bother me more, my little pony, because, you know, like, but in this show, that kind of thing's okay. But, you know, it didn't get it up very good in the show, I don't care that much. You know, but we have some kind of robots like four, I mean, not a ton, but a few. Um, and, you know, it's like, I mean, I don't like the shake of. Trying to stick of a, uh, I don't know, purposefully trying to, you know, uh, get a little familiar. Even he before, he was very ancient before. I can't. But that the the effort as a whole is fine because I do like the end. Give him more. We're trying to teach him the A plot about how you know love who you know. Though I do think he Pepper and Boy both kind of did it better. Um, you know, you know, uh, that kind of thing. And again, I like the core of moral in the plot, and it was a fun plot for all. But yeah, probably the weakest of a game in a long time here today. I guess they're both decent. I don't know about uh, this one. I'm not. This one will take where I had to wait to watch it again to know what I would say about it. So I might just blindly call it good until I decide it's not. Quick, I'll get quite. Actually, it's more like a debatable at the moment. With the one plot, though. You know? But, um. But, hey. Um. Fair, that's the last little pinch up for 2015. Um. But, uh. Oh, get a hole. Sort of uneven, but entertaining in the very least. The last joke is kind of dumb, but, you know, kind of fine experience for the most part. Not much, nothing painful. We were going to beat the kid for a little funny, and the song was good. Um, of course, my bad apple showed up, because the song didn't be good up, but you know. Um, so, I think that's it for the cup code. Um, I already didn't have one last week. Um, if you want to know, I saw it's been 50 written by Roger S. Fesher. I wrote a thing on it on that day, and played of it, and it was good. Not the grains, but good. Um, go back when I think of this one. Uh, next week we have Pump Up the Panda, which sounds very, very dirty. And I, in fact, yeah, I shouldn't get that. Then I'll see you next year for a bed shop. Uh, but yeah, also. Ah, uh, well. Try, nah, I've been trying to come up with a thing. To kind of one will bother on that thing that played to this, but I think I'll wait till the perfect time to do that. And now you're gonna have to wait to find what the hell I'm talking about. So, there you go. Did a big bag, but you know. So, I will see you next week, I guess. Oh, and before I forget, in January I will do my top five pony king of five episodes. This is the only vision I could have. Go. So, just gonna hear it now. Actually, I couldn't get that next week as well, but you know, I'll get that each week until it comes out. So, goodbye.